If we examine the sequel trilogy, I think it's pretty safe to say that by far, one of the fan favorite characters is no other than Anakin Skywalker portrayed by Hayden Christensen in the prequel trilogy era. This is Mike Zero, make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one thing about Episode 9 is that we do know that this movie was a foundation to create new Star Wars lore, without a doubt. We see that J.J. Abrams laid the foundation for all these new different types of material, such as the World of Exegol, the Sith Eternal, the Shrines of the Sith, and all of that will be further explained in the upcoming novelization due for release this March. Now that we're getting through the month of January and heading into February, the Rise of Skywalker is exiting theaters and a lot of fans are very curious about the future of the franchise and where things are going, especially for Disney+. Plus. Now, Disney and Lucasfilm, in case you guys did not know, as of right now, they are developing their new Star Wars universe. Essentially, what this really is, is that all these different projects that range from movies to TV shows to books and novels are all going to tie to each other very similar to how the MCU is treated, and that's exactly what they are doing as we speak right now. And they have tons of projects planned for throughout this decade that's going to make its way on Disney Plus and into the actual movie theaters from the year of, you know, 2020 this year all the way up until past 2029. So they have a lot of projects currently in the works. However, what's really exciting all has to do with actor Hayden Christensen. Now, it's explained that both Disney and Lucasfilm are currently developing their new Star Wars universe, also known as their new Star Wars Expanded Universe, that will expand the franchise into something new and different for the fans around the world. Now, it's said that Lucasfilm has over 10 years worth of Star Wars projects currently in the works that are both in animated and live action form that will make its way over to Disney Plus and that Lucasfilm is looking into bringing Star Wars movies over to Disney Plus. One of the big plans is that they are in negotiations of bringing back Hayden Christensen for a new Star Wars film that is said to be in animated form with an entire new style or format of graphics that will give it a photorealistic design and that this new animated film that is currently in the early works is said to be a big deal for Disney Plus and that they are in talks to get Hayden Christensen back as Anakin Skywalker. It's unclear as to when this new animated film will take place, however it's noted that concepts were pitched of it being based after episode 9 in a film that would focus on a handful of Jedi and something to do with the netherworld of the Force. This project, though in animated form, would allow Hayden Christensen to return as Anakin Skywalker and to get the limelight that he deserves. This new project that is currently untitled is, said, is actually said to plan to be dropped sometime right around the, when the new trilogy arrives, and that Lucasfilm was looking to make the animated Star Wars movie shorter than the theatrical films. However, a very immersive experience for the hardcore Star Wars fans around the world. This plan for Lucasfilm is to regain the trust of fans who are upset with the sequel trilogy of films, and especially with The Last Jedi. So, if we examine everything that Disney and Lucasfilm have been trying to do these past couple of months, give or take, is that they really have been trying to fix the Star Wars franchise. And one would argue that there needs no, there doesn't really need to be any fixing in the Star Wars franchise. One would definitely argue about that. I, however, have to say that it does need fixing after The Last Jedi and how it had a massive impact on the cancellation of over 10 years worth of Star Wars films that are now being converted into TV shows, as an example. Uh, so the fact that they're trying to do something very special with actor Hayden Christensen in this animated Star Wars movie that isn't going to arrive until the new trilogy drops, that's what they plan to do. It could be any one of those movies, so for all we know, it could be five years from now, four years from now, who knows. But, this is the thing, is that Disney and Lucasfilm, they are trying to regain the trust of the fans. Is this an act of desperation, or is this a genuine move by Disney? That's the biggest question of all, right? And I think one would actually respect it better if this was a genuine move by Disney, but something tells me that this is more so an act of desperation in order to really get the fans, you know, back on track here with Star Wars. Now, everything that we have seen with the Rise of Skywalker in The Last Jedi, sure, a lot of things went wrong with the sequel trilogy, and I myself have actually gone over this before in my spoilers review and in my initial reaction review of the movie. Um, I went over how there's a lot of scenes in Episode 9 that I love and hate, and I think a lot of you guys out there will agree with me on that. Um, it's a lot better than Last Jedi, at least I believe, but when we look at what they're trying to do with Disney+, Plus, obviously they're trying to reach very high here, they're really trying to do something 
out of this world that's really going to take the fans back into Star Wars. And when we look at everything related to Episode 9, it really was the foundation of all of this. Basically, the novelization of The Rise of Skywalker is going to be the very start of this new Star Wars universe, the first step to the expanded universe that takes place after Episode 9. And also, after that, they're going to be filling in the gaps in between the Skywalker Saga movies and everything that comes before the Skywalker Saga, such as the Old Republic, the High Republic era, and other eras throughout the entire galaxy over time. So, with that being said, guys, I would really love to hear what each and every one of you have to say about this untitled project, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time. Yeah, no.